Hi everyone, welcome back to Novel Nomad and welcome to my Victober TBR video. I'm very excited for Victober this year. But before I begin, I might as well say, just in case you don't know what Victober is, um, I have been doing it for quite a number of years and it's basically for the month of October you get to read Victorian novels, so Victorian classics, books that were written by English, Welsh, Scottish or Irish writers during the period from 1837 to 1901. So during the reign of Queen Victoria, books that were written in the British Isles. Um, so last few years I have like sneakily thrown in a few <laughs> colonial reads, so books that were written in the Victorian period by an Australian writer or some that were written by an American writer, but this year I'm going strict. So why don't we start straight in with the books that I'll be reading for this month. Now first on the list is Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. I have read Villette last year, I have read Jane Eyre, I need to read more Charlotte Bronte. And perfectly enough, Shirley is actually the group read for Victober this month. So for the entire month of October, we, we will be reading Shirley. I haven't heard if there's going to be a chapter breakup or anything like that, but this is definitely going to be on my list to finish for October, but I'm not going to put a definite planning week for when I'm going to be reading it. Next are two buddy reads I'll be participating with the lovely Kate Howe. First we'll be reading Aurora Floyd by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. Now Mary Elizabeth Braddon is best known for her work Lady Audley's Secret which is fantastic. If you're thinking of finding a nice sensationalist novel to chuck on your pile I highly recommend that one. We've read two others um, of hers. I really enjoyed The Doctor's Wife. I thought that was a really interesting novel and Aurora Floyd seems to get a nice little bit of press for Mary Elizabeth Braddon so we are picking up this one this year. The other one I'm waiting to come in from the library and that is Scenes of a Clerical Life by George Eliot. I am ever since Kate Howe realized how much I am loving George Eliot um, in our current buddy read. Um, she invited me along for that one and I'm very very ready to get into more George Eliot. Um, otherwise, let's get into the challenges. Now, challenge number one is Katie's challenge, which is to read a book that kind of equates to a modern genre that you really like. Um, for me, that is going to be Thomas Hardy's Two on a Tower. Now, I really thoroughly enjoy reading Hardy and my, it's usually my Hardy appreciation group that I read all these wonderful classics throughout the year. Um, but this is a short one and I think a few of the members have already read this one so I want to catch up and it is, um, it's a fiction so it's not technically sci-fi but it is focusing primarily on the science so I thought that'd be a really good little introduction to sci-fi. Not quite uh, HG Wells but it is getting there. Now challenge number two is Lucy's challenge and that is to read a collection of letters or diaries from the period. I didn't have anything. I have journals from like Lucy Montgomery and things like that but I didn't have any of the journals or diaries of any Victorian writers. Um, so I decided to pick up a copy from my local library of De Profundis and Other Writings by Oscar Wilde. So De Profundis is a collection of um, letters that he wrote whilst in jail when he was serving his jail sentence and um, the first one De Profundis is basically to his ex-lover basically vilifying him and calling him out for basically how he pushed Oscar Wilde under the bus um, and all the other ones are to his family members so I'm waiting for that to come in from the library and they're pretty good my local library so hopefully I'll be able to pick that one up very soon. The last challenge from our lovely host is Kate's challenge which is to read a new to you or a short story from your favourite author. I'm picking new to you because I have so many books on my shelf that have authors I've never read before and I really want to get around to reading their works and number one I think I'm going to choose is Odd Women by George Gissing which is said to be a really interesting feminist book for the Victorian period and um, I heard lots of good things from people last year who were reading it so I'm very very excited to get this on my red shelf and really understand what is the feminist elements that people are really fascinated by in this book. I also want to read poetry from Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I have read a few bits and pieces of her but really I want to get more into her poetry so I'm kind of classing her as a new to me author because I've never really sat down and read a collection of hers. Lastly is the group challenge and that is to pick a book that you did not read in a past of October and for me that's um there was like a few larger titles on that list and I thought with the number of books I absolutely want to finish in the coming month I would pick 
a tiny book. And so this is one of the essays or great ideas from Penguin and it is George Eliot, so no surprise who I'm currently fangirling over. It's George Eliot's Silly Novels by Lady Novelists. So basically I think it's her throwing a whole lot of shade on women writers um, in the pre and during Victorian period and basically calling them out. Um, so I can't wait to read a George Eliot throwing shade in the only Victorian way she knew how, which is obviously via an essay. Um, otherwise, I have a few satellite reads, so reads that I'm not dedicating myself to, but I will have on the back burner just in case I get to finish all my lovely books that I've got planned so far. So number one of my satellite reads, because it came recommended to me so many times by people on my Instagram stories, is Oscar Wilde's Complete Short Stories. I think it's going to be great having some late Victorian literature coming in, and his Complete Short Stories is really lovely because most of them are little bits of fairy tale, whimsical, just, just fun little stories. So I definitely want to get to this one if I can get through the rest of the books first. Next will be a reread because I haven't read this book in such a long time. I read it when the uh, actual TV series came out and that is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. I wouldn't mind reading it again just in light of how many other Victorian books I've read recently um, and also in the last few years. I think it'll just help me place this book better within its own, the, the contemporary writers of its time. So I'm very excited if I can possibly get to do this as a reread. If not, I think I'm going to uh, make it one of my summer reads. And lastly, just because it was so much fun and I just laughed hysterically at the cover when I found this at a secondhand bookstore, and it is When the Sleeper Wakes by H.G. Wells. This is an absolute sci-fi. It's written in 1899, so just on the very tail end of the Victober period. And what I love about this book is the fashion. So basically it's about a man who uh, in 1899 falls asleep into a deep coma sleep thing and um, he he basically wakes up in the 22nd century so next century and um, this is apparently what we'll be wearing so I mean it's it's pretty close to Star Trek I mean the cover comes from the 1960s but I just found that really hilariously funny but it would be interesting to see from H.G. Wells what he thought the 22nd century would look like so he was a thinker. It was just it was just a lot of good fun to read the blurb for this book and I was colour me intrigued. I really wanted to pick this one up. So I'm throwing it on my um, satellite reads list um, if I do get around to it, but it's no pressure. I think this one will just be a good fun laugh to read at the end of everything. Okay, so that is my TBR for Victoba. I can't believe how quickly it's coming up. If you're participating in Victoba, let me know down below. I'd love to talk about what everyone's TBR is, or if you recommend a certain book in particular, which one should I start with? Um, so many things to chat about with Victoba coming up. So yes, if you're participating, let me know, drop a comment down below, and happy reading, happy Victoba planning, and I'll see you next time. Bye!